So the things I'm going to be using for this project are 0.70 millimeter wire, some crystal beads, I'm using red for this project, chain which I got at my local jewelry store and then my earrings that I'm going to be using to finish up my project. So I already cut 15 inches long of my 0.70 millimeter wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide four crystal beads onto the wire like this and I'm going to just slide that down to the middle and then with one crystal bead I'm going to interlock if you've been watching my videos you know that interlock simply means you passing your wire or your string in opposite directions of the bead I'm going to just bring that out like this and I'm going to try to just gently uh, move that bead to the middle making sure that the left and right wires are still equal so I'm just going to gently work it down pulling on both wires if it was a string it would be easy but because this is wire yes yeah, so you have this next thing we're going to do is on the right the wire in my right hand I'm going to add two crystal beads and then to the one on the left I'm going to add one crystal bead sorry guys I'm going to add one crystal bead to the left and then with one I'm going to interlock and that's what I'm going to just do like throughout I'm going to be adding two on the right one on the left and I'm going to interlock so now that I have that unit I'm going to pick up two beads onto the right again I'm going to put one on the left and I'm going to interlock with one. Again, I'm going to pick up two beads onto the right. Slide that down. I'm going to pick one on the left and then interlock with one. Again, two beads on the right. one on the left and then we'll interlock with one Now I'm going to keep doing this until when I count I have 9 beads at the top. So if I count the top line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have 7 right now. So I'm going to keep doing this until I have 9. There's 2 on the right, 1 on the left. And then I would interlock with one. Again, I'm going to put two beads onto the right, one bead on the left, and I'm going to interlock with one bead. Just gently pull that to ensure that so this is what I have right now if I count the beads at the top one two three four five six seven eight 
So what I'm going to do to finish up right now is this wire. So I'm just going to wrap the wire around. It's too long. So I'm just going to try to wrap it around where it ends by putting it in like that and then bringing it out and then I'm just going to try to wrap it around a couple of times. Cut off my excess wire. So I'm going to do the same here. So this is what it looks like right now. So for the next stage of the project, I'm going to cut two two strands of my gold chain. I think I want it to be two inches long. So with this, I'll cut the second one so that it's very equal. And that's all I need for the wire. So basically what I want to achieve is something that looks like this. So to connect the chain to this beaded wire, I'm going to be using jump rings. I have already opened my jump ring, so I'm just going to slide that. I'll open it well. So I already opened my jump rings, so I'm just going to slide it in. And then slide in my wire slide in my chain I mean and then I'm going to close my jump ring like that on the other end I'm going to pick up another jump ring and I'm going to slide in my chain and then I'm going to close So right now, this is what we have. So with the third jump ring, I'm going to slide it into the first chain. And the hole is very small, so I need to just be careful. And then I'm going to slide in my earring. And then the second wire. and I can close it. So this is what the earring looks like. I'm thinking that it's a bit too long. So you could make yours shorter. But yes, this is what the earring looks like. <laughs> 